Why do SARMs taste so bad liquid? Anything to make it taste better? So SARMs liquid. So you're probably getting these from a research or chemical site, which they can't do a pill or an injectable or anything like that. Um, it's, I, I don't know what's in it. You know, that's the, that's the thing. Is it really what they say it is? Is it mixed with anything else? Um, but you know, anything that you take in like that, even if you got like B complex, if you smell like B vitamins and stuff, they don't smell good. Vitamins and stuff like that don't smell good usually. Um, it's because they don't. This is what it is. So they're going to taste even worse uh, if you have to eat them or drink them. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I think there's way better things out there than SARMs, which SARMs are select androgen receptor modulators. And what do they do? They go to the receptor of the androgen receptor, right? And they're supposed to not shut you down, your natural function, but in most cases they do. So at that point, it's probably like probably be better to take regular testosterone i'm just being honest with you guys you know i see a lot of people that have really great testosterone levels they go on sarms and then after sarms they're they're shut down and they crash and those those numbers really never come back as good as they were originally just being honest so i'd watch out for the sarms i think there's better things out there for you a lot of SARM sites have zero quality control and who can they complain to lol thank you john they can't complain to anybody, right? And what these guys usually do is the research and chemical sites out there usually get their stuff from China, um, and then they'll they'll box it up and ship it to you, right? Uh, there's no quality check in place. There's nobody checking to see if that um, chemical is what it's supposed to be, and that potency is what it's supposed to be. Um, and this is okay for you to consume. That's why all those people cover their butts and they put for non-human consumption because they legally have to do it on the vials. Uh, at that point, they're not even supposed to tell you. And Christian, he's he's actually an attorney on this. It's funny because they're not even supposed to like basically tell somebody that they can use it for human use or even um, intently show. So when you start you know in, interfere, inferring that people can use these things for human use, you're actually crossing the line there, and all of them do. So, I mean, I just don't know what it is, but it is what it is. I just don't want a lot of people duped, and I don't want a lot of people to, to take something and think that's really what it is and then have a bad taste in their mouth. I have plenty of people that have tried BBC 157 from somewhere else, one of these research sites, right? And then they tell me, oh, BBC, because they ask me, like, man, what, what, what can I do for my shoulder or this injury or whatever it is? I'm like, man, like BBC or TB500 worked really, really well for me. It works a lot really well for patients. And like, man, I already tried that. I'm like, well, where'd you get it from? Did you get it from like, you know, a prescription, like from a pharmacy? And they're like, no, I got it for online for like 40 bucks or whatever. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, that's not the same. I'm like, but it's BBC, man. I'm like, it's, it's not real. Like it could be fake. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying that for sure, but it's not tested. I mean, can you, can they give you third party testing on it? Uh, I mean, cause we can, was it prescribed your name? No, man. It said not for, not for human use on it. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. They say not for human consumption. That's right. That's what it is. Not for human use, not for human consumption. The same thing. But that's what they put on there. And that's what it is. A lot of SARM sites are really pushing it when they sell pills and caps. Sketchy, sketchy sites. So that's what it is, man. They're, they're thinking they even got caught. And they just keep doing it over and over and over again. And uh, they're making a ton of money doing it on people. For sure. 100%. I know, I know one guy, you know. I've came across and he told me on this site or whatever and he's like making this much money. I'm like, great. He's like, do you want to be affiliate? I'm like, I don't want to be affiliated with your site. <laughs> I'm totally against that stuff, guys. Like, I want to get it regulated. I want to get for sure. I want to know what it is. Even when it comes to testosterone, like, you know, people will come up and they're like, hey, I, I think it says third-party testing. Yeah, third-party with their buddy. Their buddy's saying, yeah, it's tested. <laughs> I want to see the lab reports. And even with those lab reports, some of those sites are making fraudulent or false lab reports saying that it was tested, you know, because labs aren't just going to take in your stuff and be like, oh, yeah, we're going to test it to make sure. It's like a drug dealer saying, hey, I want to send my drugs there. And be like, oh, it's tested. Now, there probably is one or two labs out there that might test it, but... I don't know. I, mean, I just don't know. I don't see it at all. I'm just being honest with you. And if it is for third third buddy testing, that's funny, Christian. Yeah. I like that. They just look over to the buddy. And yeah. Like, hey, thumbs up. is this good? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good, bro. Yeah, it's good stuff. You know, even when it comes to testosterone, you know, I mean, what do you think these guys are getting testosterone from? Your, your buddy says, hey, listen, I can sell you a bottle. Or, I, you know, my buddies have a couple of bottles. They're not getting it from pharmacies, dude. They're making this stuff. It, you know, it's home brew. You know, either they're doing it in bathtubs or sinks. Very rare have I ever seen like a true lab setup that was creating 
black market or underground grade market testosterone. I have seen one in my whole life. I seen one, and the dude was a chemist. Um, it wasn't still. It's not right, but I mean, at least the guy knew kind of what he was doing. He had some sort of setup that looked professional. Um, but I've seen some real bad ones, guys. I've seen some guys in college literally make their stuff in a bathtub at their dorm or not at their dorm, but at their apartment in college and sell it to the whole campus. It's just really crazy.